Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors. Today we're out at our airfield again because we're just enjoying the beautiful weather. We have very light winds and we are here to fly this amazingly awesome looking Trojan T-28 Navy style uh, plane. First time I've ever seen one in bright yellow. Maybe I don't get out enough, but I've never seen one this design, this color scheme. And I know a lot of you guys out there flying planes love the T-28 Trojan. So I thought you'd really like this. I'll have this plane linked in the description box below. It's a plug and play. It's I think 1100 or 1200 uh, millimeter wingspan. I cannot remember exactly. And oh my gosh. Six channels, has flaps, retractable landing gear. Look at that beautiful prop on the front. We're gonna get a couple close shots. I'll talk to you about a couple things on this plane, then we're gonna get it in the air and have a maiden flight today. This has a 3536 KV850 brushless motor installed, pre-installed with a 40 amp ESC. I believe there are seven servos in here. We've got two in each wing for the ailerons, the flaps. We have one on the elevator, one on the rudder, that's six and seven is our retractable landing gear, which is amazing. I'll be flying on a Tactic uh, TTX650. That's a six channel transmitter, uh, pretty budget friendly, does a great job for planes like this, and it was, Abby and I together put the plane together, installed the receiver, battery, made sure all the channels are the right direction, all that stuff, from in the box to this status in about a half hour. So it's extremely easy to put together. Let's take a look under the hood really fast in the canopy. I'll show you the only problem we had during the whole process. It's right, <clears throat> right here. You can see that that's not super clean looking. That's because, I mean, I, we did a great job. Abby really did this. She did a wonderful job, not complaining, but the uh, we had to cut some room out because the recommended battery size is a 2200 milliamp three cell lipo battery. But it does not come with a battery. That's doesn't ours. come with a battery. They do make them in different shapes and sizes. We probably could have gotten one that is flatter, uh, that would fit in there a little better, but this is a very standard size for all airplanes. And uh, it doesn't fit in here without cutting some of this foam out. So once we did that, it fits in perfectly. You've got this little plastic flap here to help pull that up, though you don't need it. You could take it off and just pull it up like this. And inside, this is one of the only annoyances other than the batteries. It's all about the battery here. I don't like this style. It's an EC3 connector. Some of you guys do. I'm not a huge fan of it because I'm mostly XT60 and Deans, but I have these little Venom converters. They're wonderful. And now my battery is XT60, so problem solved. A uh, lot of wiring going on, so I did my best to clean it up. I put my dual antenna receiver wires through here and I taped them down. Okay. And I taped up some of my servo leads just to try and clean it up. And I tried to tape this down some, pretty messy, but all in all, I mean, I think I got it cleaned up looking okay. It got the wires out of the way. I found a good CG, which is basically as far back as I could get it with my receiver here. Uh, really nice setup. My stickers look great on this plane. It is a beautiful plane and I can't wait to get it in the air. We're gonna have some fun with it today before we lose our daylight. So without further ado, we're gonna get this in the air. If you wanna see more on this plane, the stats and things, we'll have it linked in the description box below. It came in at an amazing price. So if this flies well, then I'm gonna highly recommend you pick one up because six channel plane like this, just awesome, just awesome. Let's fly this thing. There's virtually no wind, so I'm happy about that, but I have not done a trimming of this. This will be a maiden flight as far as trimming the plane goes. I did some on the ground visual line of sight trimming, but that's about it. It looks good visually, so let's see how it does taxiing on the grass. I think I should use flaps to take off. That's what they're for, right? Yeah. So oh, Ooh, it's a little on the rough side. <laughs> Okay, flaps are up, but we're in the air, and I just need to trim it some, so bear with me. Uh, doesn't need much though. A little right on the aileron. I'm a little high, I know, I apologize. I'm just gonna get her trimmed up. That was center on my actual transmitter, which is where it wants to be, so that's pretty cool. I know I'm a little off there for you. Let me go throttle up and see how it flies. A little up, but that's okay. All right, now let's do the one thing. I'll get in, I'm gonna get in much closer. 
and then I'll fly by with the landing gear down, and then I'll fly by with the landing gear up. This is cool, this flies really well. So far, I like this a lot. Okay, so landing gear is still down. Hopefully you can oh, see that. Oh, I missed that, sorry. Okay, I'll fly again, fly by again, no problem. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I think I need to trim my rudder some, it's a little bit off. Let's try to get those landing gears. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try to fly by like that and then slap them up. Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. This is actually my first plane with retracts. And they're up. Nice. <laughs> Let's fly it. Let's see how this plane can handle a few maneuvers. Let's do a roll. Yeah, the rolls are sweet. I like pulling out of the climb, a little inverted loop there. Man, I like the yellow. Oh, me too. Yeah. Little roll. I haven't done a full loop, so I'll pull it out here a little farther away. And we'll do a full loop. In three, two, one. Should be no problem. This plane is just amazing. Yeah, flies very scale. I love the underwing design. I can see why people like T28 Trojans. Uh, they're just beautiful. I need to give it just a little bit of down trim. I'm climbing a little bit. I don't really need to be. Give us some low flybys. Okay. Make sure my elevator is trimmed properly before I do that. <clears throat> Still got a little bit of right roll. Okay, we'll do some lower flybys now. I think I got it trimmed up pretty well. It's part of what makes a maiden flight fun. It's just zeroing it in. Okay, let's do a little flyby action again. How's that? Looks good. We're gonna try to climb. I'm just letting it go. There's full throttle and we get a stall around there. So it will stall out eventually. Should I try to duck down below the tree line or are we good? What? Like uh, the tree line, uh, I was trimming up my rudder. If I stay above the tree line, is it easier to see? Yeah. Okay. So when you say a low flyby, you don't mean down too low. I mean, you can if you want. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Very good, baby. When I climb up, I do notice that I get a little bit of, might be a slight breeze pushing me over, but I've been trying to trim up the rudder. You'll like flying. Did someone this. stop? Oh no, they pulled in over there. I was gonna say, did You'll someone like stop to watch? 
Yeah, speaking of me flying it, all these FPV shots that you guys are seeing throughout this video, that's me flying. Yeah. So let's hope it's still in one piece because I have not flown it yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is me talking like future dance. <clears throat> so I'm gonna fly it and Nathan's oh, gonna I forgot. Follow. Need to do a little inverted flyby. Whoa, where'd you go? I lost you. Sorry, I'm too Yeah, too I long can't long. do that. <laughs> Out here. Where, there you are. I'm upside down still. That was a bad move into inverted, so sorry about that. What you think, baby? I think that's a beautiful plane. <laughs> I always tell Nathan, I don't understand why they make all these white planes. Like, let's make them awesome colors. I like the yellow a lot. The yellow is awesome. Because the real plane of the Trojan, I'm guessing, it's is white. and has never been yellow. No, I don't I don't know. They may have had a few yellow. That's probably why they yeah. thought of this. Maybe. But the classic color is white and orange. And they do sell the white and orange in the same model. Yeah. So if you don't and like all the, the stats yellow, are the same. Yeah. But personally, I like this yellow a lot. That's awesome. I mean, just awesome. It's not too fast. But it's fast enough to pull off some fun moves. Did you put a lipo alarm in yep, there? Yep, sure did. Okay. Why don't you fly some circles instead of some, <laughs> so many U's? Uh, I guess I'm just a huge fan of the U's. <laughs> Whoa! Watch this. I'll snap it a little bit. There's there my alarm. Go. Whoa, Nelly. That was crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> so the one thing I cannot forget. Put your landing, landing gear, gear down. <laughs> landing gear down. Landing gear is down. Cool. And we'll bring it in for landing. I think I'm gonna try landing without flaps. See how she does. I need to fly by one more time. That was a little fast. Plus, I don't hear my alarm, so we're okay. I was full throttle when we heard that alarm. I do hear it now, though. You know what? Let's just put the flaps on and see how it does. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's what they're for, right? That's what they're for. Slows to slow down. down. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. No throttle at all. Oh, that's fast. Wow. You thought so? I thought that was really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how it taxis in here. If we can taxi. On tall it's fairly tall grass right now, so. I can hear it chopping the dandelions. <laughs> it's doing okay. I'm full elevator. And I, I do have steerable. Uh, that front landing gear is steering with the rudder. Full elevator, flaps are down. So it, it taxied in. Although, because of the tall grass, I'm not a huge fan of taxiing like that. It's just going to bounce my landing gear around so much unnecessarily. Wow, what an amazing plane. I mean, that was just, that was perfect. Put my flaps back up. I mean, this thing, I like Warbirds a lot. And this was true to scale flying, I thought. It wasn't a crazy acrobatic plane, but it still did a lot of the maneuvers that I wanted to do. In fact, I did a couple little uh, tame snaps there at the end. And because I was full throttle when I did those little tame snaps, uh, it was giving me a low voltage indicator on my LiPo alarm. But man, that was just a lot of fun to fly. I liked having the retractable landing gear. It was beautiful in the air with those landing gear up and inside the plane. Having the extra flaps was really nice for takeoff and landing. And uh, geez, just... <laughs> I think two thumbs up from you. Two big thumbs up from me. I highly recommend this plane for you guys to pick up. We'll have everything you need, uh, you know, to buy the plane and everything you need to get the plane in the air Perfect. linked in the description box wow. below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Again, just amazing plane. Rock solid. Highly recommended. Bye. Bye.